everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here, and today I'm here with Merlin, and we're going to do a video called Thinking of Getting a Chinchilla? Little John, for once this is not about you. Now, I have had Merlin for over three years now, and there's been a lot of people that have asked me, oh, you know, like, I would love to get a chinchilla, and most of the time I would say don't. Uh, so this video is going to be for those of you who are seriously thinking about getting a chinchilla, things that I learned along the way and things that I had to consider before get it, before adopting Merlin. Okay, so one of the first things you need to know about chinchillas is that they have an incredibly specific diet. Um, and it consists mostly of hay, but they also need to have a high quality uh, type of pellet. Nice try. Um, the kind that is most recommended is Oxbow for chinchillas. However, Missouri is also very good. Please keep away from rabbit pellets. I don't care how many people tell you that it's that they're okay. They're not. Um, Merlin's liver was almost destroyed by uh, rabbit pellets. And I'm going to get lots of flack for that on here because there are people that swear by certain rabbit pellets, but that's just not the case. I have a chinchilla that suffered quite painfully for it. So just trust me on that. Just get chinchilla pellets. It's not like they're very easily available now. Everywhere carries Oxbow, which is great compared to when we got Merlin, when we had to actually get them shipped to us. Um, high quality hay is important. Now, another thing you'll need to be aware of is that they're going to waste hay. A lot of us with guinea pigs, I didn't realize how much he wasted until I got uh, guinea pigs. He wastes probably three quarters of his hay. He just doesn't want it. And that's just, that's just the way it is. Um, hello. The second thing you're going to need to be aware of is their cost. Chinchillas, even if you adopt them like we did, uh, so you save the actual fee of, what are you doing? Here you go. Um, they're so expensive. Just their upkeep, their cage. Um, we use, as you can see right there, a double level ferret nation. Now, even though we got that used, the first one that we had was just a single level and I bought it new and it was $200 and they just they need the space they can't have plastic bottomed cages because they'll eat it um the cost of fleece adds up even though we're lucky and we use the walmart five dollar throws which are great um but i would say easily we sp he's probably got twenty two hundred dollars invested in him in the last three years and that's without serious knock on wood vet bills so just so you're aware. Uh, this is like his pot. He sleeps in it and it's a sand bath, so it's his favorite. He also has a variety of fleece accessories and all of that stuff does add up. What are you doing? You're trying to really sell the idea of people getting a chin, eh? Um, tears. What are you doing, sweetie? Your own thing. Okay. So, that's their cost is definitely something to keep in mind although that's with any small pet but chinchillas are no exception um add that to the cost of finding a good exotic vet that can look after these creatures and like i never have less than 500 dollars set aside for if anything happens to him so that's just the kind of thing that you have to come to expect and wait for um oh no Okay, so the next thing you have to think about is cleaning responsibilities. Now, guinea pig owners will already be used to this, but this is from three days. So all this hay, and down here as well. Um, he is a train wreck. <laughs> um, so I would definitely recommend keeping your chinchillas on fleece. Uh, their urine is quite strong smelling, so I would definitely recommend use, going to use U-Haul. Uh, below the fleece just to use it now you see me i'm kind of collecting all of his toys so he has that's another thing that he has lots of stuff um for one little guy so all these hanging toys here are all things that i would consider absolutely necessary because he is always always chewing so that's something that can get quite pricey 
Uh, you can buy toy pieces in bulk from places like Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box, which really cut down the cost uh, to buying them at the stores. You can also give them ones like this, like the Treehouse Toys, um, pears and oranges. Oh boy. So he's got this Katie apple, and then he's got, this is a manzanita piece of wood. He also has all these shelves and stuff, which all of them have wear and tear on them. And this is like his bur great bur wood perch. He's got a shelf back here. Everything that he has, he eats. The next thing that you definitely need to think of before getting a chinchilla is they are not cuddly creatures. Um, Merlin likes to climb all over me. He likes chin scratches. He likes ear rubs. But that's take you have to understand that's taken three years to build up that trust. And he will never want to sit in my lap the way little John and Robin Hood enjoy. He just won't. And that's and some chinchillas like even less contact than that. Some like more. My sister's is a little more chill. But as a rule, chinchillas are not cuddly pets. So if you're looking at them and you're thinking, oh, they're the softest creatures in the world, which they are. Um, oh, you little devil. Um, definitely rethink the idea of a chin because they won't. They're just not. You also can't hold them for long periods of time. One, they don't like it. And two, your, the uh, heat from your hands will make them overheat. So that's something else. Uh, which leads into the other thing you need to think about. If you don't have air conditioning, a chinchilla is not for you. What are you doing, baby? Hi. Hello. I think he's telling me he wants to go back. So I'm just going to pause this. Okay. So what was I saying? Anyways. Oh, yes. Holding them. And air conditioning. Uh, absolutely can't have um, a chinchilla without some kind of cool environment. We keep him in the basement here with me, so it's great. He stays cool. We also do have air conditioning though. Um, chinchillas can suffer from heat stroke fatally, and that's not something to take lightly. It's scary uh, seeing how easy they can easily they can be affected. Uh, we had a power outage once when the air conditioning turned off, obviously due to no electricity, and it he scared us because he was sleep you know flopped on his side unnaturally, um, heavy breathing, so we had to you know do our best to cool him down, and we did. But it's just a scary reality that you kind of get hit with. The other thing to keep in mind with your chinchilla is they all have unique personalities. Now, again, people that already have small pets are going to roll their eyes at that, but you would be amazed how many people say, aren't chinchillas mean? Or, you know, aren't they all bitey? Well, no, they're not. They're all very unique. Chinchillas have as unique personalities as people do. Um, my little guy, he has more moods than I've seen on any other person that I know, and he, he lets me know all of them. I know when he's grumpy. I know when he's very mad at me. I know when he's happy to see me. And he makes different noises for all those things. But I am 100% aware of all of his different moods. And that's a great, that's a good thing. If you can be in tune with what your chinchilla wants and what your chinchilla is trying to tell you, you'll be better off for it. But don't expect them all to want to come out for cuddles. Mine will sit on my shoulder uh, for a while. Um, but he'll never want to just lay in my arms and cuddle and watch TV. And that's why I have these guys. I just vacuumed you. Anyways, um, the other thing is they need a lot of space. As you saw him in the pen, they run around like crazy. Um, and that's not just, you know, once a day when they get out in their pen. They need that all the time. So his cage is about five feet tall and three feet, you know, wide and he can scale it in seconds. That's why he has so many shelves, that's why he has so many hammocks. So he can literally do any kind of acrobatics that he wants. And it's right beside my bed, so I had to get very used to sleeping with that. But um, they have very unique needs. You need to have stuff like called bag bomb on hand in case their feet get sore or if they come to you from a wire bottom cage, chances are they'll have sores on their feet you'll have to deal with. Um, oh, a big one that you need, their water. Um, they're prone to something called uh, giardia or gyardia, depending on who you're talking to. 
a friend of mine, the girl actually that runs the Zoe and Lilo's toy box, fought for two years this parasite and she doesn't even know how they got it because she's got a special filter on her water. You have to buy a very specific Brita filter. It's not just like go and get a jug. Um, it's a very specific one that filters that out because our our tap water doesn't um, doesn't filter it out to the point that it's safe for chinchillas. Chinchillas and dogs can get this and it's terrible. Um, and right now it's getting more and more resistant to medications so it's something that you have to be aware of. I boil my water twice. That's how I get rid of everything and then I store it in a jug in the fridge. So that's that's something kind of unique for chinchillas that nobody that you don't have to deal with with other pets is their water needs and it's not something to take li like for lightly. Uh, you get it found in stool samples so if you have multiple chins it can be a nightmare very quickly. Um, so it's something that you have to be on top of. Another thing you have to watch for is um, their teeth can uh, break or get weird ch chips taken out of them which can cause them to need filing which is just a nightmare. Um, another thing, chinchillas need dust baths. So if you're thinking about getting a chinchilla and you think, oh it's so cute when you see fluffy animals in tubs, chinchillas never. Chinchillas can't get wet. So that's why you can't take water bottle leaks lightly. Uh, you don't let them get wet. They can get funguses or fungi and Merlin's dealt with that. He got one because of stress the first time he moved in with us and it's just awful to deal with because if you can imagine chinchillas don't like getting held, try holding it to put something called blue coat which is like a purple dye onto their fungus. You become purple very quickly and it's just it's just an awful thing so if you can avoid it definitely do. So let's think. So we've got spatial needs, um, lots of chew toys, cleaning needs, specific diet stuff, water stuff, uh, cost. Oh my goodness, I'm forgetting the biggest one. Chinchillas can live 20 years. <laughs> um, and that's a long time. That's longer than most dogs. So if you are not, if you're a kid that's getting ready to go away to university or college, or if you're going to, if you're, you know, in high school now, or if you're my age and you want to have kids, or if you want to get a dog or anything like that, you have to consider that this chinchilla is going to be with you for most of your major life events for the next two decades. Um, and that is a very long time. That is a huge commitment. And you owe it to that chinchilla to think about that before you bring them home. Merlin is going to be five in November. And that is not, that's not even close to being old. So when you compare that to, we have hamsters, degus, uh, and guinea pigs. He trumps all of those by age. And that's something that you have to take into serious consideration. I would say that's probably, I can't believe I forgot to mention it, that's probably the biggest one. Um, chins are a very big commitment and you owe it to them and to yourself to not go into it lightly. There are lots of them that need homes in adoption centers like the Canadian Chinchilla Rescue, um, which I will link in the bottom of the description if you are thinking about it. But chins are a big commitment and they are worth every bit of it because when you finally earn their trust and what like what I've got going with Merlin now you do it all over again in a heartbeat but it's a lot of work and it's a steady it's a steady job and it's something you have to think of before you go anywhere ever and if I haven't scared you away from chinchillas and you have any more questions please always feel free to ask me I've dealt with all sorts of ups and downs with this little monster and I wouldn't have it any other way. Hey baby, come here and say bye. So this is Merlin and Sherwood Small Pets saying thanks for your time and please remember to like, subscribe, and comment because we love to hear from you and hopefully this is the one in many videos featuring, featuring the rambunctious Merlin. Bye!